Hello and welcome to Dr. Ross Matt's key skill video on the relationship between scale factors of length and area. So we've got these two solids here. Solids A and B are similar. And remember similar in maths means that basically these two 3D solids are the same shape, the same underlying shape, but just different sizes. So all the proportions are the same. For example, if the diameter of this circle was to double, then the height would also double. Everything's in the same proportion if they're similar. So let's look at this problem. Suppose A had height six centimeters and B height 12 centimeters. If A had a surface area of 10 centimeters squared, what is the surface area of B? Well, if we look at this, we got the two heights. So the height of A is six centimeters and the height of B is 12 centimeters for these two solids. Well, let's work out what the scale factor of length is. So I'm gonna write SF length to mean the scale factor of length. And that just means how many times bigger are the lengths becoming from this solid to this solid. So if we're going from six to 12, well, we can see it's getting twice as big, but we can just divide the two numbers. So 12 divided by six, and that gives you two. So all the lengths, the width, the height, etc., are becoming twice as big going from A to B. Now, if we know the scale factor of length, we can get the scale factor of area or surface area. And the way we do that is we take the scale factor of length and square it. So we do the two squared, and that gives us a scale factor of area of four. If the scale factor of length was three, then the scale factor of surface area would be three squared, which would be nine, and so on. And now, because we know the scale factor of area, we can scale any area we have to get from one to the other. So we're told the surface area of A is 10 centimeters squared. So the surface area of A is 10 centimeters squared. Then to get the surface area of B, we just need to times it by that scale factor of area. So the surface area of B is the 10 centimeters squared multiplied by that scale factor of area of four, and that gives you 40 centimeters squared. What about B? Suppose A had surface area 40 centimeters squared and B 360 centimeters squared. If the height of B is 12 centimeters, what is the height of A? Well, let's think about the height and the surface area of each. So we got A and we got B. Now we've got the surface areas are 40 and 360 for A and B, respectively. And we've got the height of B is 12 centimetres, and we want to find the height of A. Well, we can see the scale factor of surface area. So scale factor of the surface area, or area, we can just divide those two numbers to see how many times bigger that is than that. So we do 360 divided by 40 is 9. So 360 divided by 40 is 9. Now, if we know the scale factor of surface area, then we can find the scale factor of length, for example, height. Because remember, the scale factor of area is a scale factor of length squared. And then conversely, if we know the scale factor of area, we could square root it to get the scale factor of length. So we just need to square root that nine to work out the scale factor of length, and that is three. So that means all the lengths going from A to B are three times bigger. So if the height of B is 12, then the height of A must be three times smaller, because look, that's times nine. That scale factor of length is times three, so we just need to do 12 divided by three. So the height of A is 12 divided by three, which is four centimeters.